Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified in the future. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have uh, the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Six of Wands. We have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Chances are you're dealing with a fire sign. <laughs> here is Leo or Sagittarius. Uh, water signs. Yeah, you've got fire all over this place, right? Except for that Ten of Cups right next to the deck, but it's very symbolic that that card is here as well, right? The rest of the cards we have are all fire, okay? So must be a fire sign coming towards you. Speaking of them coming towards you, they've made up their mind to pursue you. They've made up their mind that you're the one for them. They've made up their mind about getting married, Right, obviously with you to you. Okay, um, yeah, the Ace of Wands. Um, here's the deal. You see how there is a, a hand holding that wand in the Ace of Wands. You see that, and um, the Six of Wands clarifying it. There is a person riding a horse, and uh, they're holding up a wand. The Three of Wands. The next card over is uh, there is also a person, and there is three wands, but the person is holding on to just one of those wands. Very symbolic, right? <laughs> um, that means this person is made up their mind. They made a decision. They they made a final decision, and after that, there is no turning back. They wanna, they wanna get something serious started with you. If this is somebody who is already in your life, they wanna marry you. Okay, the Will of Fortune, clarifying uh, the Three of Wands could be a Sagittarius, but the Will of Fortune is either a start of a cycle or taking your existing connection to the next level and starting a cycle on that next level up. The Will of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. Right, and then we have the Ten of Cups and the, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands belongs to, the, to this uh, fiery or fire sign, fiery person or a fire sign, right? That's them wanting to um, get serious with you. And the Ten of Cups belongs to you, water signs. Because you're a water sign, and now we have the Ten of Cups, right? The Ten of Cups is a card of a family, it's a card of a commitment, marriage, it's the happily ever after card. And the Four of Wands is also a commitment and marriage card. So both of you come in with the with very similar energies. It's that they, it's just that they need to make a move and they're making that move and you're gonna be on board. So both of you see this as something long term. Alright? Cool. Cancer. We have uh, the Five of Wands, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have uh, the Chariot and uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, uh, another Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, or pretty much any zodiac sign. Well, I can interpret this a couple of different ways. Uh, either way, you still have somebody coming your way, but how it starts or what has been happening between you and this person is going to be different for all of you. For some of you, this is your ex coming back to you. For others of you, um, it could be not exactly an ex, but perhaps the two of you got off on the wrong foot. And uh, they're going to try again. For If this is a new person uh, coming into your life, then uh, you, what you should know is that they've been struggling. They've been really, really struggling. Uh, with this decision to make uh, this move towards you for whatever reason most likely because of what happened to them in the past with somebody else All right, um, yeah, so we got the seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck This is a card of waiting and it's also a card of evaluating right so for some of you if this is your ex they're still waiting for this weekend so they could make their move and at the same time they are re-evaluating uh, the way the two of you used to be, the way they used to behave themselves, the, the way they used to whatever, you know, and perhaps they're making a decision that they were wrong, <laughs> okay? If this is a new person, perhaps you met this person during the week or recently and they're waiting for this weekend so they could make their move. Right, we actually start with the five of ones clarified by the five of cups. One five clarifying the other five. The five of ones, um, so those two cards could be talking about either you getting into a fight in the past, and uh, if this is your ex, then that's how the two of you broke up. You got into a fight, and uh, that's how it ended. Or perhaps if this was a new person, you got off on the wrong foot. That happens too. That happens too. Strong personalities sometimes collide, uh, right? And uh, uh, the Five of Wands is clarified by the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is always to do with the past, right? 
So for some of you, this is them regretting starting this fight with you and breaking up with you, or they regret getting off on the wrong foot, or the Five of Cups could be them struggling. If this is a new person, they're struggling uh, before they can make a move based on their previous negative experience, right? Uh, nevertheless, like I said, here they come with the Knight of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups. So do expect um, a very romantic gesture from them. The Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. This knight is often referred to as the knight in a shining armor, Prince Charming. The Two of Cups clarifying is what they want. They either want you back or they want to be with you. <laughs> right? There's two people in the Two of Cups. However, since this card is a clarifier, this is what's going on inside this person's head. This is what they want to achieve with you. Okay, and uh, the chariot right next to the deck, that's you, that's your major arcana card, Cancer. As a matter of fact, it's the only major arcana card on the table, and that was the last card that came out. So what's that telling me is that it's going to be 100% up to you as to what you want to do here. Alright, cool. Scorpio, we have uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, we have the High Priestess, uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Star, and we have uh, the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Sagittarius, Aquarius, <coughs> but it, it kind of feels like you are secretly doing something, <laughs> right? Um, it's like you decided to secretly work on something or perfect something, so nobody knows about it, perhaps you just invented something, right, and uh, now you're working towards perfecting it so you file, so you could file for a patent. But uh, yeah, we have you, the Queen of Cups, on the bottom of the deck, right, that's you. Um, the Ace of Swords, the first card that came out, uh, is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords, I think this is your decision. Right? With the Ace of Swords, people are all, all usually very decisive. It's a card of a new beginning, and there is no hesitation with the Ace of Swords. Right? It's clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, that's what the decision is all about. Either working on something, or working on yourself, or perhaps, again, you're working on some kind of a secret project, um, or perhaps you've joined the gym, or you started, uh, you joined the rock climbing club, but you're not telling anybody, right? The High Priestess, the next card, or is a card of a secret. <laughs> All right. Uh, perhaps you just want to see if this is going to work out or if this is going to take you anywhere before you announce this. Right. Uh, here comes the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the star. Both are major arcana cards. The star could be an Aquarius. You're dealing with the, the Wheel of Fortune, could be a Sagittarius. But that's what it's all about, right? You want to succeed. Uh, you, wanna, you want your wish to come true. The star is a card of a wish come true. But the thing about the star, it's something people usually wish for or hope for for a long time. Right? So, the, yes, you've got work ahead of you. You've got your work cut out for you. But it's going to be worth it. Right? It, it is definitely going to be worth it in the future. And uh, that's what you're uh, striving to. Something in the future. Some kind of a wish come true. Alright? Cool. Pisces, we have uh, the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Devil, we have the Sun, clarified by the Knight of Swords, we have the Hierophant, and uh, we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an um, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, we also have Capricorn, we have Leo and uh, Taurus on the table. We have a lot of Major Arcana cards on the table, four out of six cards, four of them are Major Arcana cards. And I think I know what's going on. Somebody is borderline obsessed with you, Pisces. Yep, and they're coming to tell you. <laughs> that they, well, they're not going to tell you they're borderline obsessed with you. They're coming to tell you that you are the best that ever happened to them. You make them happy, right? <laughs> and they, they think you are the love of their life. Okay? Uh, and uh, they could be onto something, especially about the uh, love of their life part. All right, but we start off with the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Devil. The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who's stuck and trapped in their own thoughts. And I think this is what's happening to the person who is about to show up, right? Um, the Devil, clarifying the Eight of Swords, could be a Capricorn who is about to show up. But the Devil could be what's on their mind. They're borderline obsessed with you, Pisces. The Devil, in this case, is that borderline obsession. All right. Next card that came out is the Sun, clarified by the Knight of Swords. The Sun could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's also a card of clarity. So you make them happy. Every time they think of you, it puts a huge smile on their face, right? 
Yeah, you th they think you are the best that ever happened to them. And here they come with that Knight of Swords, right? Knight of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I think this is them coming towards you real, real quick. They're rushing towards you, right? Um, and uh, the Hierophant right next to the deck would be a Taurus, um, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage, right? So perhaps they want to take you to some kind of an event, a very traditional event, or that's what they want with you. <laughs> they want to commit to you, Pisces. The lovers on the bottom of the deck. That card could be interpreted in so many ways. You could be dealing with a Gemini. The lovers is a Gemini card. At the same time, the lovers is a card of a choice. So they are choosing to express their feelings to you and then you will have a choice as to what you want to do with all of this. At the same time, in my opinion, the lovers is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection. And remember a minute ago I said uh, the love of your life? Yep, uh, the lovers could be the love of your life card. <laughs> Um, yeah, so either way, you have somebody coming your way, uh, they will most likely express their um, feelings to you, they do want to get serious with you, they may think that you are the love of their life, and uh, again, they could be onto something, and you definitely make them happy. And then, Pisces, you'll have to decide <laughs> what you want to do here. But, uh, you know, I don't see any resistance cards. I don't see any cards suggesting you'll be like, oh, I don't know. No, I don't see that. You will still have a, a freedom of choice, but uh, that's what we have. It's a good spread. It is a good spread. All right? Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.